Hey everyone, and welcome back to Softbox. Today, we have the Ozobot bit. And I found this, and it looked really cool. I see everyone using that new, like, black robot that has those little eyes and things, but we don't have the budget for that. So, I got the Ozobot. And this is a robot that you can apparently program on your computer or use markers. So it looks like you can draw tracks for these robots to go along. They give you stickers so you can dress it up. And then you can also code online. On the side it says you get the bot, the markers, you get 20 games and brain teasers, a clear play sleeve, a USB charger, a protective cover, and then you get the stickers. So here it looks like the markers. We get red, green, blue, and black. Awesome. I wonder if you can use regular markers or if these are special somehow. Here's the USB charger. Not very long at all. Here we look like we get some accessories and the little bot. It's a little hard to get out. There you go. It's a little thing. You can see all the little hardware in there. This thing's so small. Look how small it is compared to my hand. Super cool. And I'm unsure what these are. I guess they're just the protective covers. Kind of have some give to them. And then here's the top. It looks like a little helmet. Super cute. So we got that. And then underneath this, we have the sacred book that I may or may not read. <laughs> you know me with instructions. Oh, it's a whole little book. Or actually, it's not even a book. It's like this. How do I get this open? I think it tells you. It's like, gotta press down. There we go. I love when stuff is super neatly organized. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, so this looks like the quick start guide. We'll look into that in a little bit. Not sure what these are. Looks like these may be, this looks like little dice you can make. So if you don't know what you wanna make, you just roll these dice. So these look like the different lines you can make. And these are the different codes. So you just roll them and you're drawing out what line it tells you, what code it tells you. Super cool. It looks like they give you quite a few games and little things that you can do with this bot. So hopefully we can explore quite a few of those. So here it says, prepare the Ozobot. Before you begin, you need to calibrate your Ozobot. You should calibrate often, especially if Ozobot starts acting odd. All right, so it looks like we have to hold down the power button two seconds. So let's see what else they gave us before we start doing that. So here they give us tips on how to draw lines. Super cool. It looks like they give you so many options. I wonder what... Is there a difference between the colors or... Oh, the colors correlate to the lights. It says, add more color paths. Add more colored paths to make your own Ozobot light show. Here's the reference sheet. I guess different colors do mean different things. I really like how they have this where you can either use markers or if you want to get more in depth, you can use the computer. Wow, this is kind of intense. Tornado. Ooh. No, you can't code on corners though. You can't do it next to lines. All right, so it looks like the colors need to be on a straight path of line. That's easy enough to do. Where are the stickers? Oh, maybe it's down here. Well, here's some stickers we have. Oh, these are actually not stickers. These are harder. They're like kind of cardboard. It looks like you punch them out. And we have these two. They give you a ton of activities. Oh, here we go. Here's the stickers. So if you don't want to draw each of the little commands, you can just take one of these stickers and plop it right on there. All right, so let's see how we start this guy up. So it looks like, here's the back, there's where the USB charger goes into, uh, where 
is the button at the buttons on the side it says hold down the power button for two seconds until the LED flashes white okay and we release the power and set it in the middle of the oh whoa looks like it's calibrated once it flashes green press the power button so that it turns back on okay so let's try the simple one first where we just connect the lines so let's test these markers out pretty big chiseled tip so let's just connect this whoa that was terrible okay so we start here oh my gosh oh I forgot to connect one of the lines I'm so dumb okay oh he's going everywhere hold up man all right there he goes oh my gosh this is magical this is crazy what's he gonna do when he gets to the green and blue and he does a little dance this is so cool okay let's try another one all right so let's try this tornado I want to see what that does oh that was <laughs> I thought he was just gonna start spinning this whole time so it stops and then it starts spinning okay let's try this one Ooh, doing a moonwalk cool okay so we have to do colored paths there's green so it looks like it only does the different kind of effects if the colors are in rapid succession there it goes oh it oh it doesn't know what to do the lines too thin so it looks like it has to be a thicker line Oh, it doesn't know what to do there either. Is that because my line was kind of off? No, oh, it's going back now. So it looks like the lines have to be pretty thick for it to know where to go. Which is good to know. Excuse me, sir. This way. So loop-de-loops. Doesn't really know what to do there. So no loop-de-loops. <laughs> so I'm going to look at some of the codes on here, and we're going to make a little track, and see if I can get them to go exactly where I want. So I'll just draw it on the back of one of these cards. So I want him to start over here. And then I want it to... What is line jump left? Well, we'll just do a simple one. <laughs> So you want it to go left, so it's green, whoa, 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 green, and then black, and then red. <laughs> okay, and then we will draw a straight line that goes both left. And right, all right, and then curve this way. What does that mean, line jump straight? Well, let's see what that means. Let's let's draw that out. Why do I keep closing these when I need them? So we got green. We got where did that blue go? There's blue. Green. Blue, and then green, we'll draw this out, Ugh. down, what else can we do, wasn't there a tornado, oh yeah there's a tornado, so we'll do green, and it's two reds. Okay. 
see? A little tornado. And then we will have him stop in the center. But first, we're going to make it walk backwards. So blue. Black. Green and red. Okay, and then we'll just have it stop in the middle. Okay, <laughs> the moment of truth. Let me close all these real quick. I'm really curious to see what line jump in. I hope this isn't too much of a Hard angle. Look how much I got marker all over my hands already. Okay, boy. Yeah, he did it. I don't know what that did. That did nothing. Yeah, tornado. Oh well, I guess it just ended. Line jump left. Okay, let's make one of those and see what that means. Because we gotta figure that out. So we'll do a line jump left. And I'll draw a line next to it to see if that means anything. Let's see what you do, little buddy. Okay. So it looks like um, you can do that if you want to not draw a line. So, okay, hold up. Let's put a line here and see if it catches on to that. Oh, we found it. Whoa. Okay, that is cool. This is a cool toy. If I got this as a kid, I would be using this forever. This is awesome. And they give you so much stuff. Okay, there's even more things. There's like infinite codes. This is so much fun. Okay. Nitro boost. Alright, we gotta try that. What the heck does snail dose mean? Well, I want it to go turbo. So that's what we're gonna do. Nitro boost. We're gonna do a turbo and a nitro boost. Alright, little guy. Here we go. Oh! Super fast. That is so cool. So it looks like the boost, let me see here. The boost may just be for a little bit and the other one makes it go fast like all the time. You know what, let's, let's connect these. We're connecting this. Okay. Uh. All right. <laughs> My crude drawings. And then he'll end up up there. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Okay. Oh, he's going fast forever. And then there he goes, he stopped. Oh, well, he turned around up there. I think that nitro makes it so he's fast all the time. Let's try it here. No, boy, I want you to go here. Yeah, so the nitro boost is just for a little bit. The turbo, it'll just go fast forever. Find your line. Yeah! This is so much fun. I could play this with this for so long. Alright, first I want to put this on it though. Sorry, dude. Oh my gosh, look at him. Okay, sorry. Look at that. Or you could put this on it if you want to see more of the cool stuff in it. But this was super fun to use. There's also an app that you can program this with. I don't have that. But the markers, this would just give me a whole day's worth of fun just drawing all over. I wish they gave you bigger mats. 
but it looks like you can just draw on anything. So I would just get like a big foam board and draw all this stuff on it. Super fun. So this little Nitro Buddy is a fun time. I'd just like to take a moment and thank all my Patreons. Special thanks to Resist Impulse, Mike Nelson, and Darren Sargent. Check out my Patreon where you can get extra goodies, like behind the scenes, audio from each episode, and even dedicated ASMR videos. Thank you so much for watching.